What is up everyone Movie Man back again with another Movie Talk Weekly. This is just me talking about all the movie news from around the world from the past week or so. But before I get on to that, I just want to make two points here. Firstly, don't forget to enter my 500 subscriber giveaway. The link will be down below. All you got to do is follow the instructions on that video. It's really easy. It's just two questions. And you can either comment for an entry or make a video in response for three entries. And I'm giving away three £25 Amazon vouchers there. Don't forget to check it out down below for my subscribers. If you're new here, it doesn't matter. You can enter it anyway. And secondly, I want to give a big shout out to somebody here. His name is John Perry, who I consider a friend on here now. He's a really nice guy, but his channel is called Mondo Chelevic Movies because Mondo Chelevic is the name of the band that he used to be in. And I reached out to him and said, do you mind sending me some songs, John, because I want to make an intro for my channel, even if it's just a few seconds. And he said it'd be a pleasure. And he sent me like 20 songs there, you know, to pick and choose from and mess around with. And I came up with an intro. I will play it in a second, but you might have noticed it on my past few videos. And I'm really, really thankful for that, John. It means the world to me. Get over to his channel. It's all about movies and Blu-rays, he knows everything about the specs and 4K and everything, and he's really, really good to listen to, and just got a great channel, he's just at 200 subs, and I'm really, really happy for him to see his channel grow. Thank you so much, John, honestly, I want to repay you somehow, I'll get in touch with you over that, but thank you so much, my friend, for sending me all them songs, you didn't have to do that, so that is Mando Chelevic Movies, the link will be down below, but let's just get on with this week's movie news. Okay, so let's just get all the bad news out of the way. There is some movie delays this week to talk about, and one of them was my most anticipated movie of the year. It came number one in my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2020, and that is Candyman, the remake or spiritual sequel, whatever they're referring it to. That has been moved to 2021. I was really looking forward to going to see this next month in October, in time for Halloween. You know, I'd just been to the cinema last month and they showed the trailer for it and thought, oh, it's still on course, but that has been delayed to 2021. No official date, just that it's next year, which I'm really gutted about. I was so looking forward to that film, but I'll just have to wait. And you will have to wait if you're looking forward to it just a little bit longer. The other movie that has been delayed is Wonder Woman 84. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this, especially DC fans. Just one of them. It's been moved to the 25th of December, Christmas Day. <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised if it gets moved again, but hopefully we can go and see this around Christmas time, um, over the holidays when we're off work and stuff like that. But that has been moved to the 25th of December. And Disney have came out and said that that might not be the only one they move. They are also considering moving Black Widow and they need to hurry up and make a decision on that because I think it's due out on like the 3rd of October or something, the first week in October. I think, don't quote me on that, but... That looks likely to be delayed as well, but no confirmation on Black Widow. So that's the movie delays out the way. So let's just get on with the positive movie news. So last week when I done my movie news weekly, as soon as I finished and edited it and put it up, a bit of movie news come out. And that was that Neve Campbell has reprised her role as Sydney Prescott and she will be on board for Screen 5. And I don't think this was a real big shock to anyone. I mean, we already got Courtney Cox and David Arquette. These three are the main stars of that franchise, aren't they? And they've been in all four movies together. I wasn't surprised. So, Neve Campbell is there as Sydney Prescott now. This is due out in January 2022. And it's one for horror fans to look forward to, isn't it? I mean, I recently watched all the Scream movies not long ago. I've actually reviewed them all. I'll leave the link to the playlist down below. They are old reviews, but I feel like I talk about Scream a lot because I've mentioned it on the Movie Talk Weeklies a few times and they seem to be getting little details every week there. But Neve Campbell, you know, which is the one Scream fans really, really wanted, or most Scream fans, is on board. I also noticed Jenna Ortega is in the cast for this. And I recently watched it in The Babysitter, the sequel, and I tipped it in my review to become a big star. And I think she's got what it takes to become this great, great actress, really. A lot of people hated that movie. I absolutely loved it, but that's not the point. I think she's going to go on to be a big star. So, yeah, Jenna Ortega is also in the cast there. A few other cast members that I have forgotten, I do apologise, but Neve Campbell 
is on board with Courtney Cox and David Arquette and that is Screen 5 in 2022, set for mid-January. We also got a trailer this week that got a few people excited, especially Star Wars fans, and that was for The Mandalorian Season 2. Yes, I think it looks incredible, you know. Didn't give too much away, it was like a teaser trailer, a minute and a half long, and it basically showed a lot of Baby Yoda, I know his name's not Yoda, but you know, that's what he's referred to, and The Mandalorian on their travels, showed bite-sized chunks of a lot of action scenes, but not too much, and it looks like it's going to be quite epic. And it just gave little hints at the story. Didn't quite work out what the whole season is going to be about, but little hints here and there. I wouldn't be surprised if we get another trailer in a couple of weeks, like a bigger trailer. But this is due out on Disney Plus and start and set to stream on October 30th. And I will be watching that for sure. So I have reviewed the first series. If you want to check it out, that'll be down below. I absolutely love the first series and I can't wait for this one. So that is The Mandalorian Season 2. I'll leave the link for the trailer as well down below. Don't forget to check it out. And now for my personal favourite piece of movie news that I have ever given to you lot. And I say personal because it's related to my personal favourite movie of all time. We are getting a prequel in the form of a TV series to Robocop, yes. <laughs> this is going to follow the story of Dick Jones and his rise to being a young executive to, you know, second in command of OCP and... You know, I think I feel like he's going to do a lot of bad things to get there. I don't know if this has maybe been inspired from the Ratchet TV show that's out this week because that is a prequel to a villain of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And this looks like it's sort of going to be the same type of thing and how this villain has rised, you know, this antagonist has rised to the top or, you know, and the bad things that they do to get there. So I'm really looking forward to this. According to writer Ed Numier, is going to talk about the Robocop project and, you know, the plans that they have for this robot, but it's not actually going to feature Robocop, which is kind of strange, but I'm all up for it, you know, I'm up for this little backstory here. Would have been great if we got a Clarence Bodega prequel and his gang, but I'm all up for, you know, I, I don't mind, I'll be happy with this Dick Jones character and whoever plays him and what they can do. I wonder if he will call the, uh, the old man I am but Boner. Or even asshole, like he refers to in the film. But no release date set yet. However, there is a prequel to Robocop all about Dick Jones coming at some point. We also may be getting a Happy Death Day 3. Yes, director Christopher London has came out and said that he is passionate about the project and he wants to get it done. And he's written a little bit of the movie and even come up with the title. And Jason Blum, producer of Blumhouse is also really eager to get the project started. They're both passionate about it. And even Jessica Roth has come out and said that she wants to star in this movie again. And he's also said that the title will be called Happy Death Day to Us. Don't know what you think about that one, guys, but I absolutely loved Happy, Happy Death Day. And Happy Death Day to You was just a fun film as well. He's got his new movie, Freaky, coming out soon in November. It looks like it's sort of in the same vein. I spoke about it last week on the movie talk, but... I would be definitely up for a Happy Death Day 3, you know, and he said it's not going to take place on the same day like the other two movies, it's going to move away from that and be something a little bit different, so I think that's a good idea, you know, if you had it on the same day, it would, you know, feel a bit samey there, and he said the pressure is off really because when he was making the second movie, he had to get everything right, everyone in the background had to be in the same positions and all the same costume and stuff, so he said he can relax and make this one, you know, without any pressure on him so that's a, that's good you know hope he gets it made and i think that might be his next project once freaky has released and he'll start working on that movie but that is happy death day to us nothing confirmed yet but it looks like it might be happening now if you were a fan of the christmas chronicles on netflix a couple of years ago you might be happier because we are getting a christmas chronicles part two kate russell set to take over his role as father christmas or Santa Claus, if you like, once again. And I read about the plot details here, and basically, this is the plot of the movie. Katie Pierce, now a cynical teen, is unexpectedly reunited with Santa Claus when a mysterious troublemaker threatens to cancel Christmas forever. There you go. I enjoyed the first movie. You know, I thought it was a quite a nice surprise, actually. I watched it twice, though, actually. We always watch movies over the holidays, and we will definitely be watching this one. No confirmed release date yet, but 
I think we can all take a guess about when about this movie's going to come out, can't you? Yes, definitely July next year. <laughs> no, that should be out around Christmas time this year. There's a little teaser trailer out. I'll try and leave the link down below. I did watch it on the Netflix site. I'm not sure if it is on YouTube, but if it is, I will leave the link down below. That is the Christmas Chronicles part two. So if you enjoyed the first one, you're getting a second. And now to finish the movie talk, weekly off with some gaming news. Why not? I know, I'm sorry if that's not your bag, but I just briefly wanted to mention the PlayStation 5. We have got a confirmed release date. It came up last night on a stream by PlayStation that it will be released on November 19th in the UK. Yes, a week after everyone else. Yes, like usual. But at least it's coming, you know. It's only a week wait. And it's going to be priced at £449.00. For the physical version, if you want to put discs in the console, if you want the digital version, it'll be £359, I believe. So, yeah, pre-orders have gone through the roof. I think it's sold out within five minutes, and the physical one sold out within 20. So, that just tells you the demand for this machine. I've been struggling to get a pre-order myself. I've heard there's a couple of websites taking orders tomorrow, so... I think I'm going to stay up past 12 tonight and try and get one pre-order, but that is the PlayStation 5. Now, they showed a few games off here. Final Fantasy 16 looks really, really good. I was really impressed with that. And they've got a Harry Potter RPG game there. There was leaks of this a while ago, like three months ago or something. But this is a Harry Potter RPG. Looks quite good. I think it takes place way before the Harry Potter films. So it's more of a Hogwarts RPG, if you like. Resident Evil 8, there was a big trailer for that. Looks like, you know, it take, it does take place in this village. And there's, like, witches and werewolves and, like, these... It looks like zombie creatures as well. Looks really, really good there. I love the style of it. And, you know, they really showed a few other games, like Miles Morales. That looks incredible. It really does. I love Spider-Man on the PS4. So that is the PlayStation 5. And they did finish off with a teaser for a new God of War game, which I just can't believe. I loved God of War on a PlayStation 4, so, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about doing the odd video game, uh, video game video going forward, you know, uh, I was thinking about doing my video game collection soon, so let me know if that's something you want to see, one or two have said that they want to see that, but there you go, that is the PlayStation 5, November 19th, if you want to get one. Hopefully, <laughs> there will be more pre-orders coming soon, because they have sold out already. Okay guys, I hope you all enjoyed this movie talk weekly. Quite a few stories to talk about there. Hope you took an interest to some of them. I do this every week on a Wednesday or Thursday. If you want more of these and want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. If you want to comment about any of the movie news, I will apply to every single one of you, I promise. Take it all easy guys. And I'll see you all next video.